To make it a bit easy for yourself drawing a pagoda, start by drawing a kind of, you know, two lines that are getting wider at the bottom. And then draw these curves. And these curves want to be the same distance apart, like that. And they're getting kind of shorter. So we also kind of want that line to know where we're going to. And then we're going to start with this bottom line and we'll sort of curl around into that. And then we're going to do this curly whirly line and all the way around there. And then we'll follow that curve up to there and up to there and across. Maybe a little thin line like that. And then these are going to be tiles. OK, in a very Chinesey kind of way. And then this is going to come out like that and then wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> and this curly line like that. And then that's going to come back up to there across, straight, straight across. And then a line. And then another one. And you can have as many of these as you like <laughs> um, to get it as high as you want to get the whole pagoda. And But just keep wiggling along that curly line there. And then up, straight across. And another little line. This is getting a bit tighter, isn't it? Up at the top here. And then up. And up. And across. And now the, the top one is different. So that is going to come across with these tiles like that. And then you're going to come right up like that. OK, and we're going to want to put these tile lines in and they kind of change angle as you go across. Like that. Now here we want to go up and then. This, this, these are the, the rooms, as it were, and they want to be getting wider as well. OK, so they're on the side there and then this is coming down and down. So let's do this bit up here. So we're going to get some bits like that. And we're going to want a sort of finial thing up at the top. But we want these little lines going across as well. And we're going to want windows. So let's put sort of two in there. And then we can maybe have three in there. We can maybe have four in here. And you guessed it. Let's have five in there. And what about the next? No, don't. Stop. Stop, because this is where it gets a bit more complicated. Now we need to draw the base. It's going to go right the way across. And here we're going to have two lines coming down. So this is going to be like a um, the staircase coming up to the doors. OK, so we've got little windows in the doors and we'll have a window there and a window there. These are going to be the steps going up to the front door. And we can come out here and down and across. Out, that'll go down there, that will go down there. So the base is getting wider. And then we're going to want to have a kind of uh, balustrade across here. One, two, three, four, like that. And I'm going to take that in to the top of the steps as well and maybe put those in there. Let's put little pom-poms on the tops of these balustrade bits like that. Just makes it look a bit more interesting. And let's do something like little crosses inside there, which makes it a bit more interesting too. And then when you are absolutely sure that it is dry, <laughs> then you can erase those pencil marks because you don't want to smudge the ink when it's still wet, do you? And then we can maybe make these uh, windows a bit sort of darker by just putting a little cross in each one like that. And then all you need to do is to colour it in and subscribe to draw stuff real easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.